I'm Dick. And I'm Hope. And today we got some trees. And today we got some trees. From Arbor Day Foundation. Yes, we each got 10 trees by signing up, which I encourage everybody to do. You sign up, I think it's like $14. Or um, less, maybe. Yeah. We'll check and find you out. You become sure. a member and you get 10 free trees. Yeah. So we ordered these, I don't know, was it in like September? In September. And the, the thing about Arbor Day is they send out the trees when it's the best time to plant for your zone. So ours were supposed to come sometime between November 11th and December 11th. But they did not. And they came late. They came around the 21st. And we left town on the 20th. So we've been gone for close to three weeks. Yeah, we went away for the holidays, we came back, and we worried about the trees the whole time. And if you look up close, it says, live plants plant immediately. And we couldn't do that, so. So they, you know, we were away and we were thinking about how these were just sitting there for three weeks. Um, but we were somewhat comforted knowing that they were outside in the cool. But our neighbors did us a solid and brought our packages <laughs> into their house. Yeah, apparently so, we had a lot of packages come. Yeah, which we'll do some more unboxings about yeah. some really exciting stuff also. So we don't know. The point is we don't know what the condition is of these trees. They've been, they were supposed to be planted immediately and they were not. And it's been so long since we ordered them that I don't even think we remember what we got because they were packages of different types of trees. Right. Now which one is, is that one? addressed to you or me. We ordered different things, but we consulted each other. Uh, this one's addressed to you. Okay. Why don't you open yours and yeah. I'll open mine. Okay, should I go first or should you go first? You can go first. And we'll put pictures of the tree on the screen so you can see what they look like with their leaves or wheels if they're pine trees. Yeah, whatever they are. Hopefully they still have some of whatever they were supposed to be. I'll try not to rattle the pa package too much. So you can hear. Please read. You want to open that up? while I sure. get into this. I'm going to actually slice this down the side because I reached in and felt bare trees in there, not covered with plastic. So. Okay, so start here. Guide to your new trees. Please refer to the information below to identify each tree species in your bundle. So, they're still very wet, like you might be able to oh, see. Oh yeah, they come with like gel. Let me bring this up to you. Yeah, the there's gel so and there's gel. they still smell like a live tree. They still look live. Uh, they so feel live. These are very much alive. Yeah. So They could maybe have some mold or something on them, but actually they don't smell I kind of think the gel stops them from having mold. I think, I think it's a special gel. But carefully separate your trees. It says to put them in the bucket with water to kind of get the roots apart. Oops. Let's start with the evergreen. They'll be easy. Okay. What evergreens did we get? We have two. Looks like we have the Colorado Blue Spruce. That has a light blue paint. Okay, okay. I can see a tiny bit of light blue paint. This one's going to be special and go in the front yard, right? Yeah, this is the one that we tree. wanted to decorate like a Christmas tree. So this one's going to be in the front yard. Okay. So this is a Colorado blue spruce. Next we have um, this one white has... pine with a yellow. Okay, I was about to say this has yellow paint. You know, it's so subtle that I could have thought it was part of the tree itself. Nice healthy roots too. Okay. With pine. Okay. What else? Now, Here's an it? orange. Can I just tell you what I find? Sure. Here's an orange paint. Can you guess what it is? No. It's a red maple. There's the, the orange paint you might be able to see. No leaves. It's a red maple, huh? Okay. Real nice roots. How about I pass them to you? Okay. White paint. Yeah. Or silver. Is it white? Is there it's a silver? White. Oh, there's no silver. Okay, this looks like silver paint. Oh, actually, there was a silver. Okay, so what was You're it? right, that was a it silver maple. Silver. Oh, a silver maple. Okay, so, let's so that was... over. Well, we make mistakes, you know. We make mistakes. That's a silver maple. Silver maple. Okay. 
And then there is a gold. There, and this one's gold. I thought they looked. The gold, gold is a river birch. Oh, that'll be so nice. Will it be white, white barked? Um, cinnamon colored exfoliating bark. Okay, cinnamon colored. Okay, here's a pink. Pink. Pin oak. Pin oak. Okay. Blue. Blue. Okay, we already had a blue, but it was an evergreen. This one's a different kind. This of is blue. dark blue. Dark blue. That's a sugar maple. Here's a white, and then there'll be one more after white. So the white is what? Oops. White flowering dogwood? So that's the so white flowering dogwood. This is the white flowering yeah. dogwood. Good, good roots. And the last one has no paint, and that's an American red bug. Oh, I like that so much. We have three things with seed pods. Sugar maple and silver maple pods are horrible. Oh well. Okay, so, so let's unbox yours. Want to do that? I'm going to slice down the side. I'm really impressed at how well they package these, that they are yeah. still so alive. So, you want to read? You want to do the honors this time? I'm sure yeah. there's a planting guide again. That was mine different. Okay, so you should have two pinks. Well, let's bring up the roots so they can see. These don't look as jelly, or the gel is starting to wear off, so it's a good thing we got home when we did, because they might not have lasted longer if we but did. But it's still got a lot of moisture. And um, on the planting instructions, we'll throw up a photo. They also have a picture of trench planting. If you can't plant them right away, you dig like a sideways trench and you put the roots in that way. But we're going to pot these for now. Maybe they'll stay in a pot for a long time, because it's hard to dig holes here. So. Especially if it's yeah. frozen. Okay. You want to come over here? Yeah, sure. Well, I was going to stay here and show okay. them as you... Oh, okay. Thought. Makes sense. So, let's start with light blue or green. Is that a blue spruce as well? Yes. That's a Colorado blue spruce. Okay, we won't spend too much time on it because we already know what it is. Maybe we'll plant this one in the backyard or place too. We'll have two okay. Christmas trees. Or we could do two at front. We can decide. One on each side? I don't yeah. know. We'll, we'll decide. Next one. What color? Looks like gold. A river birch. River birch. I like birch trees a lot. I like the paper birch spot. But I don't think they offered it for our I don't think it grows in Texas. They won't sell it to you if it won't grow in yeah. your area. Which I think is nice of them to do. Red? Red. Um, a red oak. Red oak. And I'm kind of surprised they grow here. We'll have to really help it get through the rock. Through Silver. The clay. Silver is a gray dogwood. Ooh, gray dogwood. And, um... This one looks like yellow or gold? Yellow, let's see. Is it shiny or not? Not so shiny. It's kind of dull. Yellow. Washington Hawthorne. A Washington Hawthorne. I think that's that was the name of my right. first dog as a puppy, Washington Hawthorne. Really? No. <laughs> Sounds like a good dog name, doesn't it? Yeah, I guess. For you. For like a fancy breed of dog. For yeah. a dog that you would have. Pink. There should be two pinks. Mm. Okay, yeah, there's two pinks. Arrowwood Viburnums. Arrowwood viburnums? Mm -hmm. Or Which vibranium. viburnums are supposed to smell really good. Really, well, I think it's a flower. Of course. Okay. Next we have... Whoa, look at the roots on that one. What is this? I doesn't, can't see a color. It's probably no paint then. Which is a burr oak. Aaron Burr Oak. Just Burr Oak. Where we live in New Jersey. 
place where Aaron Burr shot Alexander Hamilton is not too far from us. This one has little leaves on it. A tulip tree. Tulip tree, nice. If it's anything I've always wanted in my life, it was a tulip tree. He's always saying the only thing this is like Christmas for me. This one has no paint. The crab apple would be small. Crab apple. We're gonna assume that's a crab apple. So Arbor Day did pretty well, except on over. painting the crab apple. So. Yeah. Good job, Arbor Day. Everything lived like three weeks afterwards. Now, let's hope we don't kill it. Yeah, and this is really cool. I just realized, so th they are so personalized. We each got a really a completely different yeah. care guide with the, um, the paint colors and then the care for each plant. There you have it. We received 20 trees from the Arbor Day Foundation. And we told you what they were. Now we're going to soak them in water for six hours. And then we'll put them in pots and do some more stuff with them later on. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, make sure you like it. Yeah, tell us um, in the comments if you've ever gotten any trees from Arbor Day Foundation. Or tell us something else. Anything. Tell us about your cat. If you want to see more from us, subscribe. Yeah, do that. Come on, you can watch everything we do. Don't you know. beg. Don't be a beggar. You wouldn't want to see good content. You're not one of those types of people, no. Bye. Bye. <laughs>So there you have it. We planted 20 trees for the Arbor Day. Not four from. We didn't plant either. There you have it. <laughs> there you have it. We planted 20 trees from the Arbor Day found it. We didn't plant them. There you have it. There you have it. We planted.